So you wanna play Gran Turismo on GBA? Don't worry, I got your copy. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all GT Advance games on the GBA. GT Advance Championship Racing is a fantastic game, but the US version has one major flaw. It has password saves, unlike the Japanese version that has battery saves. It's very inconvenient to type the passwords in this game since it's a string of 16 digits containing upper and lower case letters, numbers and symbols. And you have to input a lot of these passwords if you want to retrieve what you previously have won in the game. And only this is reason enough to not play the game, it's annoying. But fortunately if you play the game on an emulator you can fix this. The game itself is fantastic. You get 48 licensed cars from various manufacturers and you can add performance parts to your vehicles to make them handle better. The game's championship mode has 4 different classes, each of which has 8 different racetracks, which means that there is a total of 32 racetracks in GT Advance. And the tracks are varied, you get circuit, highway, city, winding and dirt. The controls are really great and the game is amazing. If it wasn't for the annoying 16 digit password system. GT Advance 2 Rally Racing fixes the annoying password save system by having a battery save option. But now there's another catch. The game has only 15 cars. Compared to the previous game that had 48, it's a big difference. But at least the gameplay remained unchanged in quality. You can still find your new vehicles and it's an important part to adapt to each race. For example, each terrain has a specific set of tires it's most efficient in. If you don't put the correct tires on your car, you won't hit the maximum potential of that car. Which is nice. It's, it's nice to see that you have this simulation type options in a GBA game. And GT Advance 3 Pro Concept Racing did it. It took what was best in both GT Advance games, combined it and enhanced it into the best rally and racing game on the GBA. This game has 97 licensed cars, 97 and 40 tracks and each car has custom parts and some parts even change the appearance of the car. For the most part you get performance upgrades like in the other games. You can tune the engine, muffler, suspension, limited slip differential, air filter, seats, CPU and weight reduction. A new feature of GT Advance 3 is its license tests. Before you begin a set of races in the championship mode you have to successfully complete 3 test situations in order to qualify for the particular racing class. Which makes the game feel more like Gran Turismo than the first two games did. And another addition is a new race type. Now aside of championship, time attack, quick race and practice, you get the drift combo mode. And it does what the name says. The new controls in the game are more slippery which lets you get into drifts more easily and after you complete the game you unlock the kart racing game mode. If you're looking for the ultimate racing simulation game on the GBA, search no more. This game offers you a huge amount of high quality content that will keep you excited for a long time. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.